Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about the focus for the Jana Handbook 2020 related about a part of this book and it's about the envies of apotheosis. This is a way to make your own character so that you can personalize and instead of the last ones that we have seen uh, that were told about this is a really nice way because it's not about preparing a model for a campaign or for a really little game you can do it but it's mainly related about to create your own character and sincerely i hope that it will be brought to be really a standard so that you can use such type of scheme to create your own characters because uh, they are really quite fun to create you have a total of destiny points that are the points that you can see here but you can see also in the next steps that uh, has a sort of like points that you can spend and uh, based on summing them you can create and personalize your character and so on your model and this is a nice way because you can or create the model that you want using these steps and then prepare the model related about or doing like i done for my models so create your model that inspired you and then create the rules that suit your model and it's really nice in that way one thing to remember is that uh, these points are limited so you can spend as you want you have 20 points for the leader so the i can say the normal hero and 40 points for the uh, i can say the commander so the one that really dominate your general the one that uh, you put everything on so it's really quite nice that way but i was also to remember you that uh, these points uh, are semi-official so you can use uh, you can have fun but are not uh, official ones so, so they are home rules but you can ask to your opponent to play with it the way to play is that you can convert and multiply these points total one that you spent for 10 so you can have a multiply of 10 to have and know how much you spend obviously you have to pay attention because you have to control yourself because there are some combinations that are not perfect but uh, I think that uh, if it is developing this apotheosis and the apotheosis, it can become really quite an amazing one. So now we can do some example about uh, what we can gain from these combinations. And we can start to see that uh, there are the points that can be really quite uh, different ones. Because, for example, if we go to see about the malignant and the skeleton comparisons, we can find that the malignants so the terror ones compared with a skeleton that can be this one or this one or this one so i have a lot of skeletons to compare with <laughs> what changed it changed that uh, they can have quite a lot of uh, different things to take note because uh, we can have that the differences uh, it's important but it's also true that this can gain a maximum of a 4 save this one can gain a maximum of 3 even if it can gain more but it starts uh, gaining more this has better movement and uh, it has also the terror that it's quite a lot of difference but it's also true that change the keywords for example this one has been able to be part of the Legends of Nagash as base the option to have the save also this one eventually but uh, it save some points in some other ways this is uh, more limited about uh, some type of things that you can gain so it costs more and uh, if you value it's uh, even cheaper than this one but it's also true that uh, you can personalize a bit less these uh, models of the terrace one the change that you can see even more it's about the saurus because the saurus ones for example have a better things so have a better save a better wounds there are quite a lot of cheapest way because uh, if we go to see how much point there is of difference you gain better this is really a combat way so you can have a really combatant model for cheapest about the saurus i suggest eventually to buy the mount because the mount is something that change a lot what you can gain from such models because uh, the, the mounts, I think that there are 
the most expensive part about all uh, these uh, combinations because you can gain a lot of things but the mounts are the one that can be useless or really useful based on how much and how you plan to use them another thing that you can take for note is that you can really evaluate which type of army you can gain because for example if you go to see the Osek Boripas and the Skeletons in comparison there is a change on points but it's better the Osek Boripas but you have to remember that you have to play the army of Osek Boripas so you have to make these rules, these parts in the ones that you need so that you can understand that if you want to play an army you have to pay attention to which army you want to go to use because if you go to play the scaven you have to play in the scaven so you have to take note about the contest about uh, these models and i think that uh, they are not bad at all the next step is to choose the armory but i suggest you to move before the armory to choose the role so the archetypes here you have three different choices that it's the commander the acolyte or the mage so there are some limitation about what to use as these uh, archetypes because for example the mage can't be a model of corn or edwardin so a dwarf or a saurus and for example also for the acolytes you can't have a demon you can't have a death mage because it will be a mage eventually a saurus or a scaven that it's not from the clan of pestilence even the commander you can't have a death mage as a commander so you have some limitation about what you can take and it's okay i think what change about choosing these ones it's the ability that you gain so for example you can improve a lot and you can choose for example that some others can gain one or the other ability so for example you can have this one that's perfect as priest to have a shield or you can prove the attack abilities taking a commander or you can for example take this model and say okay i like it being a priest i have yet the ability if i'm in the range for this one i choose the attack one or i want to improve the ability of the ones that are near me so i take the commander or i want that it can be more versatile so i take the image and it can cast and have the different spells so you can choose the spell that you prefer then after you have done this i suggest you to make the previous step that has been suggested to take the weaponry so choose how you want to personalize your model so that you can take and spend eventually remember that if you are going to play the malignant you can't have the shield so if you are going to play these models you have to remember that you can't have a better save than a certain amount than it's a free plus but at the same time having this model let you gain for example better usage of a two-handed weapon because if you're going to spend these are i think a bit better and i like more and giving a shot this model i think that it will be perfect so take note that you can really personalize a lot such mod in such way what change more it's how you're going to play using the mounts because you can gain a minor beast that it's a sort of uh, a call it a sort of beast that accompany you there are a lot of things that can improve you a wound as gratis and a bit of attack and if you go to see the deep the destiny points available for this uh, it's not too much and can be really quite a lot of personalization because it's a way to improve your wounds the next one is the mountain beast that uh, is uh, a steed or so on so it can be quite uh, a good way in this way because you can have uh, these ways that improve the wounds of two so it means that for example a normal skeleton that has we can see five wounds can gain seven wounds and it's better moreover because you can improve another one by it uh, with the testing points and then they give you these ones and you have access to a lot more of options to improve your weight for your mount what change it's the decision about the gargantuan beast because these make you a lot in some way are a lot better than the mounted beast because they can make you gain eight more wounds so these 15 destiny points it like they're going to cost seven because eight is like adding wounds to the model it's really quite amazing 
where we have the attacks that are a lot, so they are justified. You can gain the keyword also monster, so it's not bad. So you can gain a really lot of options that are not bad at all. What change about choosing these is that the destiny points are a lot, so not mind which one you take, I think that uh, for the base of 20 destiny points uh, only the Saurus will be able to make such and only about these ones because if you go to see the Gargantum Beast it's 15 and I want to remember you that you had to buy the weapon okay you had the option not to have the weapon cost something but if you go to see about the cost points of the race itself uh, here it's 6 so 6 pure 15 it's 21 so you can't have a gargantuan beast for this mod also the Ethereas can't have because it's 12 if you add 15 it's it's 27 so it's yet up the limit that you can spend so there are some limits that are intrinsic and i like this for example you can take this gargantuan beast with a skeleton that it's free it's 18 but uh, you have really only a save of uh, six uh, that you can improve to five uh, and nothing more it's not so good it's uh, really characteristic but not so good but for example you can play with uh, the Oscar reapers it will reach uh, 20 and uh, i don't know if uh, i suggest you to do such a thing even if i'd like to see an Oscar reapers on a gargantuan beast because it would be quite fun Okay, remember that there is some limit about that they can have the Bulgur or Dragon Ogre, but I want to see a Dragon Ogre on a Gargantua Beast, it's not so okay. Then we can also personalize and make a lot, we can add, for example, Malus for the Bravery, we can gain attacks, we can gain ability to hit better, to wound better, and so on. So there are a lot of things that are interesting about this, and the most funny things are about the Gargantua Beast. But uh, the Gargantum Beast uh, has had some particular exceptions. I think that are better suited for Commander, so or better the ones that are really 40 destiny points available. And anyway, you spend a lot of points only for uh, these, so for the Gargantum Beast, but uh, they are really quite nice. And then we can personalize our models so we can gain a lot of things. Some things uh, can be associated only to some models. For example, we have the Archpriest that has the restriction only for the priest. The model problematic one is the, this, that it's a consummate commander, that it's not uh, associated to the commander itself. And the thing that it should be fucked about, because there is only a thing, because the other two are related only to the wizard and only to the priest, it will be a bit uh, strange otherwise. But we can have uh, improving, for example, give the fly, give the terrell, we can make that it has generation, we can make that it can be a battle standard and there's an option for the battle standards. We can gain something, so we can improve a lot the abilities, make it the better for the attacks, uh, make improving the ability for the weapon, so we can improve the damage, the hitting, the wounding, we can really personalize a lot uh, our models. So, in this way I think that it's really quite amazing and you can uh, really make your mod as uh, you like so I suggest you to give a try because this type of uh, options that you can gain are really quite amazing and I think that uh, you can uh, if you're going to personalize your model uh, realize something that uh, it's really suited I made some trying about rolling a song for and comparing and sincerely I found that uh, okay you can gain a lot but in a single match there are almost always if you compare these models that you can create with the I can say standard ones you can have almost a similar one. A lot depends how much you want to break because uh, there are some things that can be adjusted because there are some things that I think that should be decreased a bit in uh, potency and some things that uh, should be increased because there are a bit too much but it's only change one destiny points uh, or so on or maybe something that uh, I suggest that should be free 
because otherwise that they can make change a lot the options uh, or make some more restriction or some little things uh, really in the next uh, I think incarnation of this one I think that they they are just a bit uh, something it will be perfect and I'd hope to play with this how to create my charter because uh, using the destiny points uh, and having the limits because the most important thing uh, it's uh, this limit so it's that uh, they have the limits of 20 or 40 so this one uh, even if doesn't seem uh, they can gain quite a lot and made you see about the gargant one so you can take everything that you want you have to control yourself so it would be not bad and i say that uh, you can for example also try to make also a, by yourself and so on some little also way so you for example you can decide that you can spend only 10 points uh, and create your um, ambassador and so on your cheaper your champion simply not the okay there is yet this champion but uh, you can create the champion for your unit or so on that uh, you can personalize a lot so it would be quite amazing i think to see such type of creation uh, represented and brought to real cause uh, i think that uh, it would be quite uh, an amazing one anyway from dino mode it's everything i invite you to put a like on this video to subscribe to the channel to ring the bell and to come and visit this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos i hope to see you again to the next time